Question number five. Find the volume of the solid. Round your answer to two decimal places. We have the same rule on rounding. We'll see if that ends up applying on this problem or whether we end up with perfect whole numbers like we did on a number of the previous questions. Thankfully in this question we don't have to sketch now so it makes it a little bit easier. This is clearly a cone so turn in your flip book to cone and for cone we have again two calculations. We have to figure out the area of the base which is a circle so the area of a circle is pi r squared and then we're going to figure out the volume which is the same calculation is a pyramid it's one-third times the area of the base times the height. Let's go ahead and shade our base even though on a cone or a pyramid we only have one base it's not as critical to shade those because it's pretty easy to pick out what the height of a cone and a pyramid are but we'll just follow along our normal procedure and shade that. That means in this case three yards actually is the radius they give us the radius of the base and seven yards is the height of the cone. Let's go ahead and do our calculations. The area of the base is equal to pi r squared, which is pi 3 squared, which is equal to 9 pi. Now in this particular situation, I'm going to go ahead and leave pi in our base answer. Leave pi in the base answer, and that means we're only going to round one time at the very end of our question. So this is 9 pi yards squared. All right, let's go ahead and identify our height. We've done that already, actually. Our height is equal to 7 yards. You can put an S there if you want to. 7 yards. And you can put an S on yard square as well, but I know what you mean if you just put YD. And then we have our calculation for our volume, which is equal to 1 third times the area of the base, which is 9 pi, times the height, which is 7. Now this works out really nice because you can put this entire equation into your calculator and figure out the final answer. Let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to put in 1 third. Remember we put our fraction in with parentheses. 1 divided by 3, close parentheses, times 9 times pi times 7 equals and our answer is 65.973 we're going to round to two decimal places the three this third decimal place is lower than five so we don't have to round up we just cut it off and the answer is 65.97 that's approximately because we're rounding so 65.97 and this is a volume measurement. That means it's three-dimensional. And that means our units of measure are going to be in three dimensions or cubed. So final answer is 65.97 yards cubed.